right, well, joining us now is Dennis Lockhart, former Atlanta Fed president. Dennis, we might have gotten a slowdown in jobs growth, but we did get an upturn in wage growth. What matters more to the Fed right now? Well, I think the uh, wage number is very important because whether it's a leading it's leading the inflation parade or lagging the inflation parade. It appears to be part of the inflation uh, story. And I think they're paying a lot of attention to wage growth, which does still seem to be in the fours uh, on an annualized basis. And that's too high probably to be very confident about bringing the inflation rate down to 2%. I mean, we keep talking about data dependence, and certainly that seems to be a key message from officials like Goolsby this mm -hmm. morning. But, I mean, you, you look at what the market's already pricing in. You look at some of the data we have gotten that has been largely stronger than expected. I mean, can we actually say that July is perhaps locked in and that it's really September that's in play and is the key question mark now? Well, I think the report today, which was cooler and certainly a lot cooler than the ADP report on Wednesday, uh, doesn't force the committee's hand one way or the other. We're going to have another inflation report next week. That's what I think Austin Goolsby was referring to. And uh, the more data that come in and over the rest of the period before the next meeting. So we'll see. I, I you know, I, I think they could uh, justify con another skip because the interval between the July meeting and the September meeting is the longest on the calendar. More data come in over that period. It would really give them a lot of accumulated information in order to make a decision on where to land this uh, at the, as we go through the rest of the year. So are they sitting, Dennis, at a just right sort of spot, or do you feel like the overall story that the data has been telling, not just today, but overall, has been leaning a bit hot. I mean, how should investors factor in whether good news is good news again, and we're sort of at that neutral point, or whether really there might be some catch-up that the Fed ends up having to play? Well, I think when you, you size up the, the whole picture, you have to say they still have work to do. They have penciled in two more rate hikes uh, in the last summary of economic projections. Penciling in is not a commitment. It's provisional. It's conditional. It's not necessarily going to happen. They're going to revise their projections in September anyway. But as of now, they see that, that the rate has to be a bit higher before they actually pause for a longer period of time. So, Dennis, so I, go what, ahead. What, is, sorry, what does that mean for John. fixed income investment, you think, when uh, maybe things are slowing down? A bit, I and mean, it seems to be maybe cooling off, but also there's the expectation that we're pretty close to the end of the rate height cycle, if not there. I think that's the key point. We are close to the end of the rising rate cycle, and therefore uh, the fixed income world is going to maybe be looking at a different outlook for policy, which is probably bullish for fixed income, but it's a bit too early yet to say because the rest of this year probably is going to involve some more uh, policy rate increases. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at ISM services this week. You had the economy essentially picking up speed again. At least activity was up, even as price pressures were down. So, again, this idea of, of a sweet spot. But how real is the risk there that you do see economic activity begin to recover or, or rebound in a more meaningful way here. It just takes us back. In a sense, it's sort of the, the lesson learned from the 1980s and the Volcker, Volcker era. Yeah, the, uh, that can very well happen, where, where you think you've got things moving in the right direction, and then you get some reports that suggest maybe it's reversing itself or it's stabilizing in some way, which is, in this case, would be undesirable. This is a, uh, in a way, for a policymaker, a frustrating economy. They've put a lot of pressure on it, and yet it, the economy itself, activity levels, remain, uh, you know, pretty robust. And it's everything's going well in the economy except inflation, which is too high. Hmm. Uh, so, so, uh, you know, I, 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 if I put myself in their shoes, uh, they don't want to. Uh, respond uh, too strongly to what turns out to be a false dawn of some kind.